Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to more family friendly gaming with Soap the Great. Today I'm bringing you another server how to's here on the Too Crafty Vanilla Amplified server. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to use my skeleton grinder. So, first things first, you need to come to my base and then we'll come into the lighthouse here and go to the elevator just over here and we're going to be going down one level. So, we'll hit this button, we'll drop through the water drop. And here we go. Come down this corridor and listen to the scary noises. And then we're going to come into the skeleton farm proper. And this is in the midst of a rather efficient now slime farm because of cave lighting. And you'll just have to put up with slimes hanging out. So first things first, you want to turn on the skeleton farm. And you can hear skeletons start piling in. And then you'll just sit here and wait AFK for them. And you see they start coming in. We get a few. And we'll just wait a little bit. We'll build some up. So in that time, I will cut. And when we've got a decent amount built up, we'll come back and show how to bring them down to one hit. After you've been AFK for a little bit, you can check your F3 screen and look at the entities there in the top left corner. And we're sitting about 25, 28, somewhere in there. It depends on what other mobs might be in range of your cursor. We're going to get rid of the F3 screen. Now, that's not a lot, admittedly, but uh, you might stay here for a little bit longer than that. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the farm. Okay, so we don't get any more while we're taking care of this. And then what you want to do is hit this lever over here. And that's going to crush them. And man, that noise is loud. And then we'll come over here, get a splash potion of healing. You might want to get another one just in case. And get your uh, get a looting sword, okay? Now, we've I've got some looting swords back here. And feel free to use these if we go in here. That's not the looting source. I just did this earlier. Okay, so here's a looting sword. You can grab that and then come up here. And what you want to do is just get ready. As soon as you throw the splash potion of healing, you want to switch to that looting sword so you get the drops. Okay, so you ready? We're going to throw it, switch, and there we go. And then you just come in, get the XP. And if you'll notice that there is a hopper underneath where the skeletons drop okay and so that is going to take care of the overall drops that shoots all of them down into the water stream below and they then get taken up no it doesn't go in the water stream below it goes up in an item elevator and then goes to the storage room up in the lighthouse and then when you're done you've got enough xp make sure or once you've taken care of that group you want to turn off the lever that opens this thing back up and then what you do is you come over to here I try and keep this stocked but uh, if I get low on books or on on the lapis or these splash potions of healing do let me know or bring some over and and that'll certainly help out and you just come over and use these resources and that's perfectly fine I don't mind one bit all right so I got a uh, lure 3 book and we will just go drop this over in the library. I do not require that you do this. Feel free to take whatever you need from, from in here. Okay, so we've got books over here. We've got armor here. And then we've got a bunch of tools. If you need some for a quick repair or something, feel free to use those. But then what we're going to do is go up to the storage room because that's where all those drops are in case you need any bones or... Or I keep hearing, oh, that's the witch. Okay, which is the witch farm is right there. In case you need any bones or arrows or bows, feel free to come up here and grab that. So the bones are going to be right here. And then the arrows are going to be right here. And then the bows and any armor are going to be over here. You see they haven't quite made their way through the sorting system yet, but they will eventually. It is rather slow for all those items. But that is how to use the skeleton grinder here at my base. And I hope that you find it very useful indeed. 
Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.